In this video, we will see how we can block or allow the peripheral devices through the Sophos Central Admin Console uh, to the endpoint agent. So I have just logged on the Sophos Central Admin and uh, I will go on the policies because peripheral devices allowing or blocking is the part of peripheral control inside the policies. So this is the base policy for peripheral uh, control and uh, we will just edit this policy, but if you want to make a new policy, so just you can create a custom policy uh, for the peripheral control. So we'll, so we'll see inside the base policy. So we'll, I'm just going to click on this. And uh, because I'm just, uh, I'm going to apply this policy for all users and computers. I'm not going to make any or select any specific user or computers, but if you want, so you can add the users and group as well inside the uh, inside a custom policy because uh, in the base policy you cannot make any changes for the users and computer and uh, because this is for a, uh, for all the system uh, which is not inside any policy so th this comes inside the base policy so uh, i will go and i will just make the changes uh, for the base policy and uh, and there are the three options inside the manage peripheral first is the disable peripheral control if this option is uh, is visible or selected it means all of the devices can be connected and can be accessed on the endpoint agent which comes under this uh, under this base policy and second is the monitor but do not block uh, all peripherals will be allowed it means Peripheral devices will be allowed, but it will be monitored through the Sophos Central Admin. And uh, next one is the control access by peripheral type and add exemptions. But, so in this policy, if you will select this one, here you can just allow or block by putting the, uh, by selecting this uh, one of the, one of two options. One is the allow, by default it is showing allow, allow so I am going to select block and you can select the devices peripheral devices as per requirement so I just want to block or allow all of the devices so I am going to block this one and uh, secure removal storage as well and floppy drive and uh, floppy drive you can assign only read only option and uh, because uh, we are not using floppy at all so you can just leave it and uh, infrared you can block it you can uh, block it as well optical drive cd drive will be blocked as well here you can block the removal storage so this needs to be blocked or if you want to only allow the users to read the uh, mass storage content so you can just enable or you can select the read only option but in our case i am just uh, going to block and i am not going to allow read as well so i have just selected block here is the allow block bridged or block i don't want to allow the bridge network uh, through our wireless so you can just block it completely and uh, and uh, this is the difference between block bridged and block is if you will block bridge bridged only so wireless will be allowed but a user cannot make a bridge to their wireless whereas if you will select block so it will completely block neither user can access uh, Wi-Fi or wireless or neither they can uh, nor they can create a wireless bridge and here even you can disable the MTP and PTP as well now this is the options just you can follow to blocking the devices here you can specify the message like I have added the message mass storage is blocked and uh, contact IT team so I just edited this message here you can make the message accordingly you can create you can edit the message as per your uh, business requirement and uh, here you can just make a peripheral exemptions so in, in the peripheral exemptions you can 
exempt the devices which is blocked on any machine. So uh, currently we are just going to make a block and later we'll see also how we can make an exemptions for any specific mass storage for the, uh, for the, for the business requirement. So I'm just going to attach uh, mass storage on this system and before proceeding that I need to click on the save option. So just policy has been saved and uh, we'll trigger this policy to the endpoint machine. And uh, I just selected this machine and going to update it. Now the, uh, the policy is going to be updated on the client machine. We'll connect a mass storage and we'll see what are the messages are coming on the endpoint machine. And uh, I'm attaching this mass storage. Currently, uh, mass storage is opening, so we need to just wait for a while for the policy updations. And uh, we'll go on the Sophos endpoint agent uh, here. Uh, status is fine. I will again click on that update now. Now see the use of device USB store uh, mass storage is blocked contact IT team. So this is the message which you will go which you will get on the client machines once your mass storage will be blocked even you will see in, inside the events. So the same message here you can read it. Now you just want to allow this mass storage for this machine and uh, before proceeding that we'll see if machine is accessible. No, machine is not accessible at all on this machine. Now we just want to allow this, we, we want to make an exemptions for this USB mass storage. So we will go again on the policy and in the policy we'll go on the peripheral control here. We'll go on the settings in the settings, we'll again click on the per peripheral exemptions. In the peripheral exemptions, because mass storage has been blocked, so this has been reported on the Sophos central admin. And uh, now you can just make an exemptions for this mass storage. And uh, you will click on the add exemptions. So this mass storage is going to be allowed uh, uh, allowed to everyone. So now we'll, uh, everyone which falls on inside this policy only. Now we'll click on the save option. Once I click on the saved option, so we'll again on the computer, we'll click on the update now or need to wait for a while for the policy updations. And, uh, and if you want to make it manually, so just you will go on the device and you will click on the update now. Now we'll see this mach machine will provide the access to the mass storage now. I will again reconnect this. Yes, now this, this USB has been allowed because we have just exempted on the uh, peripheral control policies where we have just uh, selected inside the add exemptions and now policy has been updated and we are able to see the mass storage content, we, even we can just write it the, uh, over here as well. Either you can create a file or folder. So this is the way which you can follow to uh, make the USB blocking on the Sophos central admin or you can make an exemptions as well uh, for uh, allowing any specific mass storage for the end user. Thank you for watching this video.